Hello guys, welcome back to the second portion of my how to use tell me when guide. In this portion I'm going to first be focusing on how to track cooldowns. And to do that I'm going to make another group just for my cooldowns. For every class in WoW there is some sort of cooldown that they're either popping every couple seconds or every couple minutes. And tracking these cooldowns and using them effectively when you can during a boss fight is what's going to make your DPS greater than that of the person next to you. Um, for this assassination rogue that I'm demonstrating here, I'm just going to track Vendetta and Vanish, although you could track Cold Blood as well. In my first icon in my cooldowns group, I'm going to go ahead and turn it into Vendetta. I'm going to set the icon type to cooldown. I'm going to enable it. I want to show the timer. And this is something I'm always wanting to tr keep track of. Although I want it to be more visible whenever the duration is low on my cooldown. So I know it's about to pop up. I'm setting the duration to 10, making it always visible. However, I'm setting a condition here so that when the duration is under 10 seconds, it'll be fully visible. When it is below that, it'll be at 20%. Next I'm going to track my vanish the same exact way, entering everything in about the same. I'm going to set it to vanish, I'm going to enable it, it's going to be a cooldown, I'm going to set the timer, I'm always going to show it, but whenever the duration is under 10 seconds, the opacity will greatly increase. So I'll always be able to see the timer, but it'll become much more apparent to me and I'll you know, pop out on my screen whenever it's about time to use it again. The reason why you want to track that Vanish as an Assassination Rogue is popping it will actually give you this overkill buff which increases the rate at which you regain energy. Now you can see uh, as these cooldowns are being popped there, down there in the bottom I've got a timer on it. And by the way, those timers are actually enabled by a mod called Omni CC, and you're going to want to enable that mod if you want to get some precise timers like I've got here. Now there's one last thing that I'm going to want to track with this assassination rogue, and I'm going to make a new group for it. It's just going to be a one icon group, but with assassination rogues, there's something deep in their talent tree called murderous intent. And essentially, it makes it more important to backstab instead of mutilating when a target is below 35%. Now to track that percentage of the target, I'm going to make this icon a condition icon. And I'm going to set up the graphic as backstab. And I'm going to enable this icon. And it will be shown whenever the conditions succeed. The condition that I'm worried about tracking is the health of the target. And you can see under the talent spec, murderous intent is 35%. So I'm going to go ahead and set the value to 35% and set it to less than. In order to test this icon, I'm going to go ahead and go out and just punch something until it's below 35%. And once it is, I'll see that icon pop up for backstab and I'll know that it works. And there it is. Now I've shown you just a little bit of what Tell Me When is capable of doing, but there's much, much more. And uh, I'll give you some examples here. Um, I've got a Protection Paladin, and I use Tell Me When primarily to track the defensive cooldowns as they're going up so that I know how long they're going to last and before I need to pop the next cooldown or an arcane mage, I might want to track uh, the debuff for arcane blast. Tracking buffs and debuffs is infinitely easier on a warlock. They have so many different ones and tracking the debuffs and the cooldowns is just so much easier with Tell Me When. The last spec I have here as an example is my elemental shaman and like every other class, just Tell Me When makes it easier to track your buffs, debuffs, and cooldowns so you can perform your rotation without losing control on what's going on in the fight. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. 
please stay tuned for more raid perspective videos in the future.